military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Um, yeah, I, uh, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. Uh, wait. Were you gonna tell us how your dad met Alex's mom, or...? No, no, they just... It was in Orlando, and... I mean, that's it, really. Just pretend it's a really fascinating story. Because it isn't. Uh, yes. Please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh... Second cousin? I don't know how... Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there like a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato boys. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, will be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on. Right. Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lying guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. 
I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Uh, Ren's right. I probably shouldn't. Okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? J Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway, we're all going to meet up with them. It's just all the It's love. like a buddy system. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts. All right. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, isn't this... Oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like... Um, maybe we can do the walking tour later. Like, after three beers. Uh, anyways, Jonas, it's like the only time in history an American sub was destroyed in our waters or something like that. Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so... They made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? <laughs> yeah. Definite nightmare food. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because... Oh, hey, this is the person facilities office, didn't... It? Didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you- Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, living in the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think... Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too different. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't get too used to her. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all.